Hey YouTube and welcome back to It's Amazing. If you're new to my channel, this is your first time seeing this beautiful chocolate face. Well, back. <laughs> Do not forget to make the red button gray and subscribe to my channel. Like don't sit up here and get up all these tips from this wash day routine and don't subscribe to your girl. And while you're at it, hit the bell notification so you not miss another second of me. Like I'm having a giveaway coming up. Y'all ain't here from me though, but you know you did. And you can follow me on my social media accounts which will be listed up above and in the description box link just for you. All you gotta do is just go over there and click them and put her eyes under all my bomb pictures. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to yet another video. Like, did you see the intro, girl? Did you like it? <laughs> I like it. So by the title, you guys already know about to go down. I'm gonna be taking you on my pre-protective style wash day routine. Like, we're gonna go from scalp to the tangle. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how I get ready to wash my hair for protective style. So. Yeah, now that we got that out of the way, let's just get right into this. Okay, so if you are not new here, you know I start on neglected hair. As you see, she is busted, disgusted, and, and she looking, you know, she looking pretty iffy. So let's just get right into this. Okay, first I like to start on my hair without wetting it. I'm going to be using a water to foam shampoo. I'll have all of the products that I use listed below just for you, girl. But yeah, I'm going to put that without wetting my hair and just to break up all the dirt and just get right on my scalp. And I'm going to use this little bad boy right here. I stole this from my mama. Worked so well. Feels so good on my scalp. And it's just, you know, getting all that dirt and gunk that I had in my hair loosened up and just making my scalp feel so beautiful. Like you're going to notice that a lot of these things are going to be posting on my scalp because we are going to do the protective style. So we need to, you know, make this scalp, prep this scalp real nice. Okay, so then I'm going to rinse all of that out of my hair. And I really didn't put it on my ends or anything because I'm going to be going in with a clarifying shampoo. So, yeah, I'm just going to rinse my hair out and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so now that that is all rinsed out and my hair is completely saturated, I'm going to go in with my clarifying shampoo. And this is from Back on Business. Like I said, link below. I love it so much because it gets my hair squeaky, squeaky clean and my scalp squeaky, squeaky clean. <laughs> And so I'm just going to work that in my hair, smoothing it into my hair, making sure I really get into my scalp though, y'all. Like, that's really important when you're doing protective style. Make sure that hair and that scalp is clean, clean. Super, super clean, clean. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be going in with a more moisturizing shampoo. And I learned this method from listening to professionals, y'all. Like, go with a clarifying shampoo, then a more moisturizing one. And, like, I promise you're going to be able to tell the difference. It feels so bomb. So, yeah, I'm going in with this. And I'm going to be focusing that again on my hair and especially my scalp. <laughs> just to, like, put some moisture back into these curls. Because I did just clarify them. So, we're going to balance that out with a moisturizing shampoo. You know, just work that into the section. And I'm going to do a little bit of finger detangling action with this moisturizing shampoo because you know the hair was feeling good the curls were feeling good so we're just going to finger detangle her real quick and i'm not doing a thorough finger detangle just you know something slight something you know <laughs> not nothing too serious Okay, next I'm going in with my Miche Deep Conditioner. Love this stuff to death. They sent it to me and it's just so beautiful. But yeah, and it smells so good. So yeah, I'm going to be putting that on my hair. And yes, you guessed it, on my scalp as well, sis. Like the professionals told me, I can put shampoo and conditioner on my scalp. So you know what I'm doing? I'm putting it on my scalp and it feels great, okay? So yeah, I'm going to put that on my scalp. And I'm just going to do like a blob on my entire head and then I'm going to section it off. And really get the deep conditioner on my roots and on my scalp and on my strands so they can just you know suck up all that good old moisture that that deep conditioner has and i heard somewhere from professional that your hair can only take in so much moisture so that's why i'm going to be deep conditioning before i detangle because one i don't want to use that much conditioner like it's kind of expensive and i love it so i want it to last a long time and b i forgot my other reason for it but yeah and as you can see, I'm going to be adding a little bit of water in on the sections when I'm putting it in. Just marrying the water and the conditioner. Just mwah, chef's kiss. Mm -hmm. 
once I get it all over my hair, I'm going to go in with a trash bag. Not a trash bag. Uh, um, what's it called? You know, bag from grocery store. Let the wa the conditioner sit while I take my shower. Okay, so once that has set, I am just taking out the bantu knots that I put my hair in and like just feeling my curls because it just feels so good. So, you know, I'm just playing with them a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm going to get back serious and section off my hair because I'm going to start detangling. And with this detangling process, I'm going to be wetting my hair some more just because, you know, your hair loves water and I love my hair. So I'm going to give her all the water she wants. And then I'm going to go in with this Garnier conditioner like it's cheaper than the deep conditioner so I'm gonna be using that to detangle it, you know some good old blobs and put it on each section and just detangle my hair with my tangle teaser brush and yes I still do finger detangle like before if my hair is really really matted but my hair really wasn't really wasn't that matted but on some sections you'll see that I did finger detangle first then go in with the brush Like, do you see those curls? It looks so juicy. Ooh. Like, I am not regretting cutting my hair anymore. Like, it just looks so bomb, and I can't wait for it to grow how long it was before. And I feel like she's sitting there slowly but surely. So, hmm, nah. <laughs> Okay, so this is my hair all detangled. Like, she just looks so moisturized, so beautiful. Like, ugh, yes, hair could. If you're if you're trying to not cut your ends, baby, if you color them or damage them, go ahead and clip it, baby. You gon' you gonna love the results. So yeah, this is my hair all detangled, and I am just going to rinse her, as you can see right now. And can you see the injots coming back? <laughs> you see them. So I'm just making sure I get all of that off of my hair and off of my scalp because you do not want that sitting on your hair while you do your protective style, sis. Okay, so this is my hair all rinsed out and that is my pre-protective style wash day routine. Like I really focus in on my scalp trying to get that squeaky squeaky clean and then I'm going to moisturize my hair once again and just replenish my hair with water and conditioner and that is all I'm going to do. And then I just braided my hair. No, I dried my hair and then I braided it up and since we slapped a wig on her. So that is my routine for when I want to do a protective style. And yeah, that is it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.